Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Humiliated Hillary, desperate and out of cash, stumbles in begging for help, told to go away. The cold winds of change are beginning to blow for Hillary Clinton, and it's looking so frigid that some are saying hell just froze over. Considering what just happened to this once powerful woman who has been stumbling through life since losing the last election, both literally and figuratively, it looks like Hillary just suffered her hardest fall yet. The failed presidential candidate is still whining about her loss in 2016 and some major Democrat supporters are starting to get tired of her. Outside of her massive email scandal, people watched her health fall apart during the election process. In her latest trip to India, she was seen again taking a tumble only to be caught and helped back up by Secret Service. Clinton has more to worry about than her tripping issues, she running out cash and friends. This week, even with the cloud over a failing foundation she and Bill have been hitting up their wealthy friends to take part in a dinner gala in late May to help fund the foundation. Hannity wrote, the Clinton Foundation is running on empty more than a year after the 2016 race for the White House, with insiders now claiming the organization is relying on wealthy associates and megadonors to stay afloat. The charity embroiled in pay-to-play scandals and outrageous speaking fees plans to hold a ritzy gala to entice new donations and expand its fundraising base as rank-and-file Democrats move on to other political organizations. The event is scheduled for May 24, with cheapest tickets going for $2,500 and going upwards to $100,000 for access to both Bill and Hillary Clinton. The Clinton Foundation found itself in hot water throughout the 2016 campaign and beyond over allegations that donors had increased connections to Hillary Clinton while she served as Secretary of State. The New York Times reported that the Clinton Foundation received millions of dollars from donors connected to Uranium One as the deal was in the process of being approved by representatives of government agencies, including Clinton's State Department, writes Fox News. But money isn't the only issue. The 2018 midterms are coming up and a major left-leaning publication wants Hillary to go away. They are concerned that with her continuously being in the news that Democrats will lose the 2018 midterms. According to Hannity, a prominent left-leaning magazine is imploring Hillary Clinton to quit pointing fingers and go away ahead of the 2018 midterms, adding the failed candidate will likely cost the Democrats the House and Senate should she decide to remain in the public spotlight. The Atlantic published a scathing rebuke of Clinton Tuesday titled Hillary Clinton's high profile is hurting the Democrats. The article begs the former Secretary of State to stop litigating her 2016 defeat to Donald Trump and allow a new crop of candidates to take center stage. Isn't there someone who can convince this accomplished, inspiring, barrier-breaking superwoman to stop whining about 2016? Asked the author. She lost. And while her frustration, disappointment, and rage make perfect sense, Clinton needs to give the public vetching and finger-pointing a rest if not for the sake of her or her party, then for the nation as a whole," adds the writer. The twice-failed presidential candidate was back in the national spotlight last week, delivering a major speech where she slammed Trump as a president who seems to reject the role of a free press in our democracy. With the Clintons' track record, they aren't going anywhere. Bill and Hillary love the limelight, they can't stop talking. Republicans are hoping they don't listen to a word and just keep talking. The world is getting a little smaller for the Clintons, they don't have the same intrigue and power amongst their Democratic colleagues. There aren't as many people willing to pony up to the foundation, and why would they? Aligning yourself with Hillary is a political nightmare. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click, like, and subscribe. Thank you.